Hello, hello everyone coming in. Hi. If you could drop us a message in the chat and say where you're from and if you're beauty or medic, whether you've been using this peel, we'll have a look through those. We're just going to give it a few minutes for people to um, join in and then we'll get started. Thanks for joining us tonight. If someone can let us know if you can hear, we're okay as well. Can anyone hear us? Can you drop us a message? Oh, brilliant. Thank you. Oh, chat disabled. Let me have a look and see what we can do with that. Hopefully you can uh, get in the chat now as well. You'll have to bear with us. Neither of us are particularly technically minded. Oh, brilliant. Lovely. Hello, Thank everyone. you. Hi, everyone. Wow. <laughs> yes, Nicola, Zoom is uh, tricky. So has everybody um, been using BioRepeal or is this new to you or where are we at with that? New, brilliant. You'll love it. It's an amazing product. Oh, great. So there's quite a lot of people looking for new. Oh, brill. Yeah, Lisa, we love it as well. Right, okay, then let's... Um, Let's get started then, shall we? And we'll um, see how this goes. So thank you everyone for taking the time to join us tonight. We know it's late. We know you've got other things on, but we really appreciate your time. And thanks to Shop Beautiful for having us as well. So we are just going to give you an overview on BioRepeal. We've been using it ourselves for a couple of years. We love it. We think you get great results in it. And obviously from the chat, the guys, you guys who have been using it have also really um, appreciated as well. So just to give you a bit of an overview um, and see see where we go from there and see hopefully you like it as much as we do as well. So who are we? We are the Aesthetic Training Rooms. We are based in Newcastle upon Tyne. We also have the Aesthetic Treatment Rooms, which we opened a couple of years ago. Both of us are from a dental background. I'm a dentist and I qualified about 17 years ago. And then I think probably the same as a lot of people who work in healthcare with COVID and things, you start to um, reassess and look at different things. And we've all, I think both of us actually quite like the aesthetic aspect of dentistry and then got more into aesthetics. And um, here we are. So my name is Rachel Davison. I'm a registered dental hygienist and a registered dental therapist. I've worked in dentistry for 20 years now, so that's a very long time. We're both pleased we're in aesthetics to try and minimise the years <laughs> that <laughs> dentistry showed us. <laughs> so I still currently work in dentistry two days a week and we spend the rest of our waking lives here. Basically, yep. yeah, just working all the time. Same constantly. as everybody else who has a small business. I'm sure you yeah. are all uh, there all the time as well. Definitely. So webinar outcomes, basically what we're going to cover today, we're going to talk about biorepeal and what's in it. We're going to talk about its benefits, the indications, contraindications. We're going to go through some risks and side effects as well. 
we are going to show you how you use the product and how you can make the product work for you. So how you can upsell and make a little bit of profit from that. We will also show you some of the results that we've had here in our clinic. So what- Just, sorry, just to interrupt, before we go on to that, can I <laughs> just uh, remind you, if you've got any questions, put them in the Q&A or the chat and we'll try and get to those at the end. And Shop Beautiful have also put a discount code on, which is all capitals, save, and then 30. So you get 30% off the buyer repeal range and any of the RS range as well. So it's quite a big saving. So I'll just put that in there and I will repeat myself at the end. Yeah, it is a big saving not to be Yeah, done. I know, good deal. <laughs> it's a good one. Um, so what is by repeal? It is a TCE based chemical peel. It is made by a company called CMED and they're based in Italy. We actually use quite a few of their products in our clinic. Yeah. Um, they work to pharmaceutical standards, which guarantees that they are the highest quality levels, which is what you're looking for in a treatment. So bio repeal has a keratolytic and an exfoliating property. So it promotes cellular turnover by removing the outer layers of skin. Now it does this by dissolving the bonds between the skin cells, which then will slough away the top layers of dead dull skin and reveal healthy glowing skin underneath. Um, it also replicate, replicates skin cells so it can help reduce um, damage from UV radiation and pollution. So this comes in two different types. The first type is FND, which basically stands for face, neck and decolletage. Now, you will use this basically where it says when you buy this, you'll get it in a box. You'll have five vials in the box and there will be six mils in each box. Typically for a face peel, you're going to use two mils or around two mils. Mm -hmm. So what you want to do if you're seeing somebody and they're having their face and neck done, what you want to do is you want to price accordingly. So you want to charge per mil, really. What we do is we charge per mil for anything other than a face, um, any areas of the body. Um, and you probably get about a mil for a 10 centimeter square. Yeah, approximately. Um, yeah. So for body, do exactly the same. You're going to be using this um, where the skin's thicker. So you're looking at feet, knees, elbows, hands, the back. So again, they're all different surface areas. So you want to be pricing accordingly just to make sure that you're, you're cutting your costs, basically. I'm going to hand you over to Helen to discuss the ingredients. So if we go through the ingredients for these two different formulations. So first off, in the FND, we've got our trichloroacetic acid. So that's our TCA. And this is a brilliant product for stimulating the tissue for prolonged renewal. We've then got our lactobionic acid, which has got a smoothing and again, a regenerating effect. The salicylic acid is our BHA cleanser. It is lipid soluble, which means it's great for decongesting pores, getting rid of all that sebum buildup. We've got the tartaric and citric acid, which are used for smoothing and protecting the skin our amino acids. The TCA is actually buffered by the presence of arginine, which means that we don't get the extreme peeling that we've historically seen from TCA peels. We've then got our vitamins, which help to stop over irritation of the skin. They're also antioxidants with our vitamin C there. And then we've got this brilliant ingredient called gamma aminobutyric acid. Easy for me to say, yeah. Um, <laughs> which I'm going to call GABA from now on. Yeah. Um, and this is what's going to give you a really brilliant flash lifting effect. So as soon as the peel comes off, it looks like the skin is a bit velvety. The skin looks smoother. Everything looks a bit tighter. And our patients really love this um, immediate effect that they get from it. Um, we all know none of us have got any patients, but patients, clients as well, they want to see immediate results. Then we've got the squalane and the isopropyl myristate which helps to prevent the TCA oxidizing inside the bottle, but it also helps to maintain the lipid barrier of the skin. Now, if we go over to the body, the ingredients are exactly the same. So same ingredients in both of these. The difference is that the TCA is different concentrations. So the FND is 35, the body is 50%. Now, if you're medically qualified, your insurance should cover you up to 50% for TCA. 
if you're beauty qualified, when we've checked with our insurance, we can only train people who are beauty qualified up to a 35% TC appeal. It may be if you're already using this that you're able to use it above that, but please check with your insurance and just make sure that you're fully covered with it as well. So when you receive it, you will see, or those of, the, those of you who are already using it, will see that it comes with a blue layer on the top, a yellow layer on the bottom, because it's a biphasic system. So the lipophilic phase, which sits on the top, if you imagine it, it's just like oil and water, really, the way that it separates out. It's got these four properties to restore and maintain the hydrolytic film. It helps to increase hydration. We, it helps to reduce transepidermal water loss, and it also helps to stabilize the product. So again, the lipophilic phase, it helps to prevent any kind of oxidation of the TCA. We've got the hydrophilic phase, which obviously has got these actions as well. Revitalizing, which is what we're all after, let's be honest. Definitely. <laughs> so <laughs> we're going for increased cellular turnover, help to the production of collagen, the elastin, the hyaluronic acid, everything that's going to make people look and feel younger. We've got biostimulating action, which helps to stimulate fibroblasts, and that's going to help with our cell turnover as well. Um, we've then got the peel in action, which is it helps with the dissolving of the bonds in between the uh, cells of the stratum corneum and helps those slough away. Like Rachel said at the beginning, we want to get rid of that dull and the dead skin to help people have that radiant glow from underneath once it's gone. Again, we've got the antioxidant ac actions. We've got the vitamin C in there. And then again, our salicylic comes in to help with um, to prevent acne to reduce enlarged pores, to help any breakouts, to reduce um, and give an overall effect. And then if we go to the benefits of biorepeal, so the advantages, and there's quite a lot. So when Rach and I were looking for something to bring into the clinic, we looked at a range of different peels. We looked at peels that you needed to buy a huge kit. Um, we looked at peels that needed skin prep before you use them, as in weeks of skin prep before they use them. Um, they were complicated systems and you weren't ever really sure, sure whether you were going to get your return of investment. And one of the advantages we found with the buyer repeal is that there's no expensive set of costs. So I've got some prices for you just to give you an idea if you haven't been using it. At a minimum, you're going to need a box of FND. So a box of FND is £135 plus VAT, but obviously save 30, you've got your 30% off as well. We recommend a skin prep system called Forever Prep, which you get about 10 treatments out of. That's £35 plus VAT. Rachel's going to go through that a bit more as well for you. And then you've got your post-op care. You can buy a small 30 mil that you would normally sell for retail of post-op care for about £30 plus VAT. If you add that all together, again, £200 plus VAT, plus VAT and then you're 30% off, that's your startup kit. You're going to get that back in, what, three peels? Yeah. So it's your return of investment comes back pretty quickly with that. It's straightforward to use. So say you've got, your, if you buy your prep system, you've got your prep, you mix up your peel, rub the peel in, rinse it off with water, put your post-op care on in a nutshell, a bit more to it than that, but you know, <laughs> straightforward. You're not neutralizing it. You're not layering loads of products on or anything like that. Suitable for all Fitzpatrick's. So from one to six, it's absolutely fine. Again, like I've said, no lengthy pre-peel skin preparation. So you're not worrying about um, patients on like tyrosine inhibitors and things like that for weeks before they come in. It's a quick treatment. The peel actually stays on for three to five minutes. So if they come in, they get their skin prepped, they have their peel on, straight back out the door after their lunchtime at work or whenever. I think they're probably in for maybe half an hour. Yeah, about that. So it is quite quick. It's good for um, salons, good for clinics to have good turnover. It moisturises and brightens skin thanks to the, the squalene that's in there. It's painless. We've all got those patients who are a bit frightened of needles. It's good to give good results without injections and you don't require any anaesthetic. Improved skin tone. Again, we've got the FMD, we've got the body, so you've got a variety for every, every area. 
zero frost effect. Now I have seen a little bit of frost in here. A little bit. A little frosting, bit. Yeah. So it's coagulation of the proteins. That's why we get um, frosting. But that it isn't a lot. And it, it's usually resolved before the patient leaves. Yeah. Thanks to their GABA, that complicated word, we've got an immediate lifting effect. So again, that immediate result that patients love to see. No downtime. Patients are in, they're out, they're straight back to their normal life. And it's not photosensitizing, so it is suitable for year-round use. Again, we're coming into this time of year that traditionally we call peel season. We've got patients who've waited through their summer holidays, through the hot weather. They weren't going to have peels, but actually this peel they can have all year round. I mean, I wouldn't advise it just before they went on a two-week holiday, but in reasonable you know, British summertime, it's still fine. So when you get your patients into a habit of maintenance, they're not having to have this break and then find something else that they prefer or move on to other things. They're still going to be utilising this peel for their maintenance. So what are we going to use it for and who can't we use it for? If we look at the indications, we're going to look for the usual things of fine lines and wrinkles. Anti-aging, it's such a big industry now. That's what we're always going to use to or target for, for treatment. And it's always going to be, I think, the biggest industry where people oh, come definitely. for. They want to keep their youthful looks. We've got melasma, our acne, blackheads, skin imperfections. Again, back to the salicylic acid on there. Acne scarring, this is our TCA, which stimulates the tissue for renewal. General rejuvenation basically damage from free radicals, keratosis pilaris, so the congestion of the um, hair follicles, skin pigmentation, enlarged pores, poor skin texture. So our contraindications, who are we not going to use this for? Pregnancy and breastfeeding. I think it probably goes across the board that there's not a lot out there for people who are pregnant and breastfeeding. And one of the reasons for this is that it would be completely unethical to do any kind of trials if you were pregnant or if you were breastfeeding and I don't think anybody would put themselves at risk for that no. so because there's no guarantee that it's going to be safe you're never going to give it to someone who's pregnant or breastfeeding if we've got any allergies a big one for this is an aspirin allergy so that's um salicylic acid as well obviously if they're allergic to aspirin let's not use that nobody needs that headache if you're an uncontrolled diabetic, your healing isn't great. So that may take um, a little bit of time to heal. And again, really the di getting the diabetes under control is probably a priority. If you've got skin infections or active herpes, we don't want to be treating that. If you are rubbing the peel in, you are just going to spread this infection. And sp obviously we know that cold sores are really inf infectious. So wait until those have resolved. And then we're going to go back to that. Again, dermatitis, eczema, psoriasis, we don't want to treat over that. Active skin cancers, we are increasing blood flow to the area. We're increasing blood flow, we're stimulating tissues. The last thing you want is for skin cancers to get bigger and uh, to spread. So again, anything suspicious, refer to the GP. Cystic acne needs to be seen by a dermatologist. Roaccutane, anything sort of, even sort of topical, uh, tretinoin or something like that you need a break from it roaccutane especially because you're increasing skin turnover so you need a 12 month break after that before you look at any kind of exfoliation following that treatment and if your patient is prone to keloid scar and hyperpigmentation i think just avoid the headache um and and don't do that treatment i'm just going to have a look in the um q and a and see if anything else is coming up on there So lovely. Marvellous, right, okay. Let's get on to risks and complications. So there's actually quite a few, uh, sorry, only a few risks, not quite a few. <laughs> no, let's not go down that path. Limited. <laughs> limited. <laughs> limited risks. So... Chemical burns, I think this is the same with any kind of peel law. You do have to assess their skin, make sure that they're suitable for it um, and time it and make sure that you're not over, over exposing the skin to it. 
Changes in pigmentation, whilst it's a very low risk, there is still a risk of it, especially if the patient is prone to it. Permanent scarring, reactivation of hair beads, redness, scabbing and swelling, and post-treatment infection. Dry and flaky skin. Now that's a funny one because a lot of our patients want to see the peel, don't they? If, yeah. they, if they haven't peeled, it hasn't worked. So it is a complication as such but some people expect it as well and everybody's different some people peel and some people don't mm -hmm. some people might peel one time and then the next time they come in and have it they don't peel the next time so it is very variable but at the same time I still think it's important to counsel your patients about what to expect just just so they know they know that there's a, the chance that they may peel a lot they know there's a chance that they may not um, and at least then you know, if it does happen, fine, they're aware of it. If it doesn't happen, that's also fine as well. So I'm going to pass you back over to Rachel just to go through the practical setup. Um, yeah, so basically we're going to go through what you're going to need. So first of all, doing any treatment, you're going to need PPE. Um, patient and your safety has always got to be priority. Now, with any treatment, we always recommend that you use nitrile gloves, um, latex is something that we'll try to keep to a minimum to avoid any sort of anaphylaxis. It is becoming more popular for people to be allergic to um, latex. Also, latex can dissolve with the peel. So that's something you really don't want to happen. Now, Forever Prep. This is a product that is also made by CMED in Italy. Um, we use this to, to degrease the skin before we do the peel. Now, this comes in a lipo gel cleanser. There's an activation spray and there is a salicylic mask, which is set by using the activation spray. So we'll add that to the tray. You're also going to need to be able to wash those off. So you're going to need gauze and water. We always use um, the disposable hair bands as well, don't we? Yeah. You're going to want the, hair, the face completely hair free. You're not going to want to put the peel on the hair. They don't like that. <laughs> You're going to need the peel. So like Helen said before, this stays on for three to five minutes. So you're going to want a stopwatch or a timer, preferably something with an alarm um, just to alert you when it's time to take that off. You are going to draw the solution up with a pink needle. Spot the deliberate mistake. I've put a blue needle on when I've took the photos. Um, and you're going to need a sterile syringe as well to draw that up. Now, when you draw the peel up, you're going to just go through the bung. You're not going to want to take the metal cap off. There is a little um, metal disc in the top just to remove, yeah, just, just to, to protect it and just pop that off and then go straight through the rubber bung. And then you also want to use some aftercare. The product that we use is um, Bio Rehydra and Bio Relift, again, made by CMED. Um, brilliant product. And it has been made to go with this treatment so it's been made to go with the bio repeal to just prolong the efficiency of the the treatment now bio rehydra this is a post treatment serum so this is a fast absorbent gel it has 15 active ingredients in this so we are looking at ocean extracts amino acids vitamins hyaluronic acid but it also has the gaba I'm just going straight in. <laughs> Don't even try and say it. Just, just go for the um I'll gather in it. Yeah. <laughs> um, this is good for biostimulization, revitalization, and moisturizing the skin. It can be used at home as home care. So you might want to think about promoting something like this. Um, but it can be used in the clinic as well to um as like a an aftercare. Not only just for the bio repeal, we use it for microneedling as well. Mm -hmm. It can be used after like laser treatment, things like that. They also have the bio relift. Now, this is a post treatment cream. It's light and it's easily absorbed. Um, it has 20 active ingredients in this. So including hyaluronic acid, amino acids, vitamins, this also has a lipophilic phase in it. So similar to the bio repeal, which is very good for moisturizing. Um, it also has colloidal platinum in it. Now, this makes the skin less susceptible to damage from free radicals. You can use this as home care. First of all, you want to assess the patient and get their skin type. 
So for example, using home care for somebody with dry skin, you would use a bio relift morning and night. Now, someone with normal skin, you would use bio rehydra in the morning and bio relift on the evening. Oily skin, you're looking at bio rehydra both morning and night. Procedure and protocols. So before you start, make sure that you've completed all of your paperwork. So by this, you're looking at medical history forms signed and dated. You want your consent, photo consent, and before photos. Now, all of these are something that you're going to need medical legally. You need these for your insurance. If you were to have any problems, it is something that they're going to look for. Patient suitability. Obviously, make sure that the patient is okay to have the treatment um, and manage their expectations as well. So you, if you have a look at somebody and you think you're probably going to need about four to six treatments, I would say to them, we're probably looking at six treatments to make a difference. Then if they need less, that that always going to be pleased, aren't they? The whole thing of um, under promise and over deliver. Yes. And then everybody's happy. Everyone's happy. Pre-treatment photographs. So before and after photographs are quite good to show the patient. Sometimes they say, um, I'm not sure if I can see much of a difference. Then when you show them before and afters, um, then they notice quite a dramatic change normally. I don't know if you guys have the same thing, though. We sometimes struggle with lighting, which is why like, mm. we've got ring lights. We, you're trying to get someone in the same light, in the same position. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> to get your before and afters is, is quite a skill. But yeah, it, it's quite important to make sure that you can do that because it's it's not it's not even just to almost like prove a point. It's people like to see that. Progress. Oh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. And you can use those um, as long as the patient's happy. You can use them on social media for marketing on your website or even just in clinic to show other patients examples of your work. It's quite good, like with patients who are a bit shy, they might not want their photographs on there we give people the option of saying either we can't use them or we can use a full face view or we can use images but not full face view so they're anonymized a bit and to be honest I'd say probably with 70% of people yeah. are right if they're anonymized Definitely. so that might be an option that you want to look for if you crop them you know put bars across and things like that most people are okay with it if you ask them um, set up your workstation. Now, we're both the same on this. We like to set up everything and make sure we've got everything out before we bring the patient into the room. Now, the reason for that is I'm very easily distracted. Yeah. <laughs> and I talk a lot. And you know what? Your patients come in and you probably know them. You've had a bit of a catch up about what's happening, not happening in their lives and things. Mm -hmm. And you don't want to appear rude when yeah. you're starting to ferret about in the cupboard and things looking for stuff mm -hmm. so it's just to make sure that you've got everything out especially important things like your timer you don't want to be without that just make sure every, everyone's um okay and the patients are going to be safe yeah definitely so how do you use it well you shake it to wake it so this is a video that i made earlier of me shaking it and waking it <laughs> So basically, because it comes in two different layers, you've got the lipophilic layer and you have the hydrophilic layer, you want to emulsify those. So what you do is basically shake them. That will emulsify them, bring all the components together. It will turn into a nice green color and then you know it's ready to use. Application. So as we said before, you want to degrease the skin. You only ever want to apply a peel to a clean and dry skin so degrease the skin we use the forever prep you don't have to use the forever prep if you don't want to however you will need to use something it is recommended as well made by the same company yeah, it goes with the same part, protocol part of the protocol mix the solution basically by shaking the bottle you want to use an 18 gauge pink not needle blue. not blue the reason you use an 18 gauge is because the lower the gauge the bigger the hole basically the bigger the hole, the easier it is and the quicker it is to draw out viscous solutions. So that is why you want pink, not blue. Take the needle off the syringe before you apply anything to the face. 
We promote this as a needle free treatment. So the last thing you want to be doing is waving a needle in somebody's face. It's, it's especially them 18 gauge needles. <laughs> yeah, they're not the prettiest. <laughs> Pink or not. So um, what you want to do from that is you want to use the syringe to evenly distribute the solution. So tiny little dots around the face. Then you are going to manually rub it in it with your gloved hands nitrile of course you could be quite um vigorous with the rubbing um you want to um make sure it's tacky Same. before you start him with a massage and you leave that on between three to five minutes and remove it with the water and then you apply your aftercare so if we look at the protocols we've got they're, they're reasonably similar, you know, reasonably similar as you go along. It gives us a vague idea of how much we're going to use as well. So for the FND, we've got between um, 1.5 and 2 mils for the face. It just depends on the area that you're going to cover. It's then left on for three to five minutes. So assess your patient just the same as any peel that goes on. It's going to be as long as they're comfortable. Obviously, any sign of them being very uncomfortable or any sign of any sort of allergic reaction, you're going to remove that straight away. But in a general sort of sense, we're going to leave it on for three to five minutes. If you do a course of treatments, four to six treatments, you're going to look between seven to 12 days apart. For the body, because you're using a higher concentration of TCA, again, as Rachel said, we charge per mil. So it's dependent on the area. And that's the easiest way to work out. It's the easiest way to explain it to the patients. Obviously, doing it on elbows is going to be a lot less to doing it on someone's entire back. You're going to leave it on for five to 10 minutes because the skin is thicker. You're going to do it about 14 days apart. And again, you can do four to six treatments. Most patients are probably going to look for maintenance after that time. Um, and, you know, a lot of my patients are coming back maybe once every four to six weeks just to have a refresh and keep on top of things with that. So with upselling, what we're trying to look for is uh, making sure that for one, your patients are introduced to this product. So it's something that you can market to them if you're new and you're starting to do it. Obviously, like all, all the benefits that we've said that you have, you've got the the GABA, you know, the that GABA. complicated word. <laughs> um, <laughs> We've got that, which gives that immediate effect. The fact that there's no downtime, all of those things that you talk to your patient about. But also before and afters, I know that's difficult when you're starting out. Um, selling stuff in packages. So if you're going to sell four, six in a package, do a discount on that or do a bundle with your aftercare. If you use, if the patients are using the aftercare, it is going to prolong their results. So, you know, if depending on their, their skin type, do a session of four, then add the bio, bio relift onto there, take 10% off and sell it as a package, which means that the patient's committed to it. You've got your sort of a reduced rate, but also their interest. The other thing is that, as I've said, the home care. So it comes in 30 mil retail size that you can sell on to your patients. It's 30 pounds plus VAT, I think, for you to pay. And then obviously you sell that onto your patients at a profit. Anything on top of your peel is then profit as well. You can give people a special offer to initially get them interested. So if you're a clinic that may do toxins, if your patient comes in every 12 weeks for that, it may be a case of going, well, your patient comes in, they have their, um, their toxin, and it may be a case of saying to them, well, look, I've got this new product. You know, I'd like to introduce you to it. I think it's really going to enhance the, the results of it. But your first one, I'll do it for you at, you know, two thirds of the costs. If you're doing the peel, peel generally retails at maybe 60 to 80 pounds per yeah. peel. So let's just say for, for ease for my little brain, if you do them at 60 pound a peel, say to them, I'll do the peel for you for 40 pounds on top of your toxin treatment. Do you want to come back in six weeks time and repeat that in the middle? Or if you're doing... um you know, your skin boosters, you can combine that. So you can have it alongside other treatments and it's going to enhance the results. So this is when you can put them in with your other treatments um, and hopefully then gauge a little bit more interest if you're new to it as well. I think if you can get 
before and afters, you know, even Googling and sort of showing, we've got them on our website, you know, showing people, other people's results is always helpful as well, just to see kind of show people what they can expect. So these are our treatment results, all treatments being carried out here at the, uh, the aesthetic treatment rooms. Our patients have kindly given us their permission to use their images through this presentation just to show you what you can expect. So this first one, this lady came to us. She was working through the uh, COVID epidemic pandemic. Um, she had a respirator mask on quite a lot of the time. You can see that she had quite angry breakouts. Uh, she was very concerned about it. I mean, I know we're still wearing masks, but at the same time, it was something that she'd never really experienced before. So we used the FND. She had one treatment. She used her aftercare and she used it at home as well. And these photos were taken a month apart. So you can see actually we've got a little bit of scarring left behind, but really she's had some really good results and she was really pleased. This next one's Rachel's. So this lady came to see us. She was very concerned about the appearance of her skin. She had quite a bad breakout, but I don't know if you can see it on the photo, but she had quite a lot of dry skin as well. Um, so for this, what we did was we used BioRepeal, we used the FND, six treatments, and the aftercare was BioRelift. Now these photos were taken eight months apart. Originally when she came here, she was... She was so self-conscious about her skin. She said she wouldn't even leave the house to put her bins out without a full face of makeup. Um, and now she goes to work without and her makeup on. Puts her bins out. And she puts her bins out. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll pass it back over to Helen. Actually, that lady's done some like testimonials she's and done videos some, and stuff uh, for us as well, hasn't she? Makeup so, free. Yeah, so. yeah. So she's really pleased. Yeah. Again, this is another acne case before and after. Um, it's probably what we treat the most is acne, isn't it? Yeah, that's what I'd say most people come with their concerns for, for, for biorepeal anyway. Um, again, this lady came, she was concerned. You can see there's some quite angry red breakouts there. Again, back to the FMD. She had six treatments using her aftercare again. She used that at home. And she uh, those photographs were taken six months apart. Now, the after photo on this, is a little bit deceiving because she likes a fake tan. So it looks a little bit uneven with a skin tone, but it is actually just a fake tan coming off because you can't have a, a peel without some skin coming off and that takes a fake tan off. Um, again, this was a girl in her early 20s. She'd always suffered with strawberry skin that people call it, the keratosis pilaris, where she had these typical red dots of congestion of the hair follicle. We used the body for this. She had three treatments and used her aftercare as well. And this photo was taken two weeks after her final treatment. So she wouldn't actually go out uh, with short sleeved or vest tops on before this treatment was done. And now she's floating her arms all over the place. So really pleased with the results. This one was an amazing result. This is one of Rachel's. So this young man came to see us. Um, he was moving to Australia and had been, he had visited a few clinics locally um, to see what treatments were available. Obviously looking at his skin, you would see that first treatment that you would think of would be peels. However, a lot of places refused to do it because it would photosensitize, photosensitize his skin. Um, however, biorepeal is less common for that. Not so, photosensitizing. Not photosensitizing. <laughs> Um, so what we did here was we did a protocol using FND and body with microneedling. So it was quite an aggressive course of treatment. Um, he had four treatments, two weeks apart. Um, aftercare was bio relift. And these photos were taken two weeks after his final treatment, which was actually one week before he moved to Australia. Oh, so taking it right close to the yes. wire then. Yeah. Cutting it very Last fine. Last <laughs> Um, but we're both thrilled with these results. Um, this was, again, one of mine, a uh, lady who came to see us who was just looking for improvement. So not hugely unhappy with her skin, but had noticed a deterioration as she's got a little bit older. I mean, you can see in the pictures, she's not 
sort of older by any means, but just over the last couple of years, she'd noticed a bit of a deterioration. Again, using the biorepeal, FND, two treatments, I think they were two weeks apart. So she used her aftercare, the bio relift, it really does, the aftercare does help to uh, enhance results. It's mm -hmm. really, you can know the difference when patients invest into it and when they don't. Um, again, I actually sent her these pictures when I was putting them together. I said, just just so you, um, just for you to have a look at, just for your own interest. And she's like, oh my God, I can't believe the results. I can't believe how different it looks. Um, so she was really pleased with the outcome, really. So in summary, what we've gone through tonight, and I hope it's been helpful to you, is what biorepeal is and what's in it, its benefits and how to use it, the risks, who can use it, who shouldn't use it. And then we've got how to use it, which Rachel went through for you. Upselling or how to get some interest with your clients and patients, the results that are in there. And I think we'll stop there and we'll have a look through your questions. I'm just going to stop our screen sharing for a second. There um, we are. <laughs> <laughs> Discount code is SAVE30. So that is S-A-V-E capitals with a three zero afterwards. Can this be used in intimate areas? Um, in a thigh, to be fair, I wouldn't class in a thigh as, as an intimate area. Intimate areas would be more classed as sort of genitalia. There are protocols actually for this. However, insurance normally states, well, our insurance states that we can't use it there. So I would always check with your insurance. But yes, in a thigh, absolutely fine to use it there. Um, can it be used on pregnant breastfeeding women? No, like most other things. No, it can't be unfortunately wait until they're no longer pregnant and no longer breastfeeding and then go for it as I say it's never been tried it's never been tested so we don't know about that um video sent after email no but I believe it is being uploaded onto YouTube so shop beautiful are uploading it up uh up there Does a treat type of pink pigmentation? Yes, it can. Sometimes it might take a few more treatments depending on the severity of the hyperpigmentation. Obviously, the deeper it is, the more it's going to be used. Can you treat rosacea? Um, I think that will be part of a much more complicated protocol, to be honest. Um, and then would obviously depend on their diagnosis from the doctor and kind of what kind of rosacea that they had. I think that's a bit more of a complex situation. Can you use this alongside microneedling? Yes, you can. However, obviously you need to make sure that you are trained in both chemical peel and microneedling. And this is an advanced procedure. So you would probably want to do more like an advanced skin course. Yeah, it's not something we'd recommend course. for something if you were just starting out. If you were just starting out. Um, hyperpigmentation is a contraindication if they are prone to hyperpigmentation, but not just like on a, I hate to say normal person. If someone isn't prone to hyperpigmentation, then yes, you can advertise as a, as a, a solution or a treatment for pigmentation. It does also depend on how deep the hyperpigmentation is. By repeal serum, is this used during microneedling or after? Again, what probably not going to give any advice on protocols because like I say that is more of an advanced thing um so we don't really want to just go through that it's through a questions and answers section um tips on cleanly removing the forever lipo gel <laughs> yes the granules do go everywhere um gauze is probably yeah. the best thing for removing it um with the Forever prep, I do always find that um, you get far more lipo gel, or I use far less lipo gel than I do for yeah, the, the mask. for the mask. Um, so with the lipo gel, yeah, use it, take it off. But sometimes, even once you've taken it off, it's almost re wet your hands or use wet gauze and go over again and take it off. That's the best thing I find for it, but it can be a little bit tricky. Yeah. Um, does it treat acne scarring too? Yes, it can. Um, it can if you're using it on its own, it can sort of shallow um the pits. 
So it can be used, but you're not going to get a dramatic result just from, from a peel. The, the TCA is designed for tissue renewal for stimulation. So it will help with that. But again, with acne scarring, it is if you've got like pits, um, like ice pick sort of scarring, it's probably not going to make much difference to that because of the scarring that's underneath that. So again, it's probably a bit more of a complex protocol with that. Um, when is the aftercare used, i.e. to replace moisturiser? So that could be used at home. So yeah, replacing their current moisturiser with the home care. Um, how much does it cost per treatment? Um, retails, as in for you charging the patient, it retails between about 60 and 80 in this area in London and down south I would suspect it's probably more heading towards 100 do you think yeah in London it's it's always more expensive in yeah, London so we charge 75 for a uh, face peel um if that gives you an idea Does it help with stretch marks? Again, that's something that you can use on stretch marks. There is a, a protocol for that. Um, again, that's going to be something in a, in a more advanced course. Um, can it be used before mesotherapy treatment? Yes, it can be. Um, that's no problem. Um, with um, Sunacos or Profilo, or, yeah, that's fine. No problem. Um, can you use body to treat patches of pigmentation on the face again that's more of an um, advanced protocol um, um, does the client need to stop using AHAs, retinol benz benzoyl peroxide pre-treatment yes they do um, I would generally say a week before um, they have the treatment. Um, do you mask before peel? Well, the Forever Prep does have the salicylic mask in it. So you cleanse with the lipo gel, then you put the salicylic mask over the top and it has an activator um, spray there. And then that gets like it peels off. Um, so yes, there is a mask before the peel. Price for face, neck and decolletage price so like we said what we would recommend is um pricing per mil so if you have a look at the slide where it showed you how much you you would roughly be using it works out as probably about six mil per um for the for the three of those areas so you'd be looking at pricing we charge 40 pound a mil uh 40 pound a mil for the body we charge i think 35 for the for the face uh-huh um, so, yeah, you're looking at um, just pricing up per mil. What you'd be better off doing is um, saying to the patient, you're looking at six mil. And then if you use less, then you can say to them, oh, good news. We've only had to use five mil. Um, and then obviously they're going to be happy that they're, they're saving a lot of money as well. How much time do you give for each treatment? Um, I'd normally give... It depends who's coming in as well, because, you know, some of your patients like to chat. But really, if you can give half an hour, I think that's probably enough. Um, half an hour, 35 minutes. By the time, it, it again, our system. So we send out all our consents and medical history forms before the patient actually comes in. We check through them before they um we check through them before they come in. So that gives us an idea of if they're okay to have it and go through that. Um, and then once they've actually come in, we can chat through the procedure with them. And because it's quite a quick procedure, as in the lipo gel cleanser, then we've got the salicylic acid um, mask through the forever prep. The peel's only on for three to five minutes. I reckon, yeah, half an hour for them to come in um, once you put their aftercare on and things like that. So can you repeat which aftercare is for which skin type, please? Not a problem. So we are looking for what skin type they have. So for dry skin, you are going to use BioRelift morning and night. Normal skin, you're going to use BioRehydra in the morning and BioRelift on the nighttime. 
Then for oily skin, you will use Biorehydra both morning and night. Um, how much do you increase the price for extra mills for larger area? Um, again, it's really, it probably doesn't um, take any extra time to do bigger areas. So it's up to you with how you want to do it. Um, I suppose if they're buying a full vial, I mean, you're not going to triple the cost of a face peel, are you? No. So you work out your, work out your cost per mill and see how you're, how you're happy to proceed with that, really. Um, hyperpigmentation um, for large patches. So, yes, the, it is normally provided in your hands-on training with your protocols with that. Um, uh, do you charge extra for forever? No, we don't. We charge that in because it's the skin prep. So I don't feel that you could really charge extra for it. You could do it as a standalone treatment, though, with the forever. So people who are very acne prone and maybe their skin is too sensitive or too overstimulated at the moment to have um, an actual peel, you could actually charge that as a separate issue. Um and maybe just charge them like 20 pounds or something to yeah. come in and have the forever treatment. But we don't charge extra to put that on because that's what we're going to use to um, prepare the skin, to degrease the skin before we put the bio -E peel on. Um, do you have to wash off the face before starting the neck or do the full treatment and wash off? Um, I normally do the full treatment together. So if I'm doing face and neck, I would do them at the same time because you're just going to rub it, rub it all in together. Um, is the promotion material on Shop Beautiful yet? I've got to be honest, I'm not entirely sure. We had an email to say that the code was active today. Um, so if not today, possibly tomorrow. Um, but as I say, if anyone has not got the code, it's SAVE30. So all capitals, S-A-V-E, and then the characters, three zero. Um, and I think that's it. If we've got no more yeah. questions, um, how should the vials be stored? Um, okay, so the vials can be stored at normal room temperature and they can actually be stored for six weeks because you have the lipophilic layer on the top that helps to stop the TCA um, becoming oxidized. So you can actually, as long as it's stored in a cool cupboard, I think it's between six and 25 degrees. Um, it means that you do have to be careful in hot weather when things get very warm, like we had the 40 degrees in the yeah. in the summer, uh, and make sure it's somewhere cool and it's not um, sort of overheating. Uh, three to five minutes, is it from drops to skin or the time it goes tacky? It's from the time it goes tacky. So once you rub it in, you can actually see, you can feel that it goes tacky and then you start your, start your timer. Um, anybody else got any questions? Oh, I think that's it. Well, thanks everybody for joining us tonight. We're very happy that we're finished. Yay! <laughs> um, thank you for joining us. Thank you for taking the time to join us as well. Uh, we really appreciate it. Again, that discount code on Shop Beautiful, save 30, S-A-V-E, three zero. Um, if you'd like to follow us on socials, our Instagram is Aesthetic Treatment, uh, Aesthetic Training Rooms, and our Facebook is the Aesthetic Training Rooms. Um, thank you very much for joining us, and we hope to see you again sometime. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.